Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to create and run migrations. So in this lecture we want to store the data from this model into our database. In other, in other words, uh, we want to create a meeting table with two columns, title and date. So first off, we are going to run um, the command that is going to make migrations and that command is going to take a look at our models and determine what changes we need to do what changes it has to do to the database in order to make the database match our model class and uh, in this case it will find the meeting class because there is no table called meeting uh, we, because we just created that and it will create the meeting table with two columns title title and date so I'm gonna say Python manage dot pi uh, make migrations just hit enter and there we go it says create model meeting migrations and within the migrations folder I'm gonna zoom in within the migrations folder now we have a one underscore initial dot pi so this is our initial migration and if we come in here now this is very 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 interesting Be why because this is the actual code that has been abstracted away so this is the actual SQL query kind of code in Python language that is going to create for us a migrations table what are the operations it's going to create uh, th this is the operation is the migrations it's going to so not going to create a migrations table I'm sorry for that it's going to create a meeting table what are going to be the fields or what are going to be the columns uh, we have the title column which has a character field of 200 and then we have a date which has a date field now it has created another column all by its own and that is the ID this column is the primary key we know that in SQL we have with SQL is the relational database a one table to another table they're connected using primary key foreign key relationship we have talked a ton about that and what what this actually means that for every specific or for every meeting we are gonna have a different ID and this one is going to be an auto created ID which is going to be a um, a primary key and it is going to be auto incremented now running this migration script this is going to result in um, uh, this will result in C in a SQL query being executed against the database now the migration script is not written in SQL you can see that it's not written in SQL this is pure Python and you might be wondering why why is this uh, the reason that this is not being written in in pure SQL is because the migration script is completely independent from the backend from the actual backend in other words words uh, we might run this against a SQLite database a MySQL database a Postgres database or uh, or against any other database relational database and every time it will result in a slightly different SQL why because SQL is a specification the implementation is going to be different so the code that we write in SQL the, the SQL code that we write in MySQL is a little bit different than Oracle than Postgres than SQLite that's why this is independent you might want to use SQLite, you might want to use Postgres, you might want to use uh, MySQL or whatever. That's why the actual script, Python script, is independent of the backend, the database, the RDBMS that we are working with. Now, uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at uh, the code that is going to run um, uh, this, um, this the, the code that is going to take a look at um, this migration and it is going to add specific columns to our table so to be able to take a look at this uh, migration that is going to happen uh, we just write Python manage dot okay manage dot pi I'm gonna say SQL migrate 
meetings, the name of the app, and the way that you grab this initial migration is you don't really need to write initial, you just have to write the number that is in the start. So I'm going to say 0001. And if I run this, what is it going to give me? I'm going to bring this up. This is going to be pure, pure SQL. So this you already know. So what, what, I, what have I actually done? I've grabbed this migration and I've converted it into SQL just to take a look at what is, what is going to be the equivalent of this migration in the language of C, uh, SQL. And we have talked about SQL a lot and we do understand what this is. So it says the command or the query is create table. Then we provide the name of the table and we say that we have an ID. So we have an ID which is integer, which is not null. Why? Because it is primary key. Primary keys are not null by default. They're required. Primary key and it is auto increment. This is the second uh, column which is title varchar variable character 200 and it is not null which is required then we have a date which is a date type which is not null as well and then we commit the changes to our database now this line this this part that i've highlighted we have talked about this in nine different chapters so we know all about this right we have talked about this in the context of sqlite postgres MySQL, especially MySQL, and we know what this commit is. Whenever you create, you may, you do, you um, you have SQL, you need to commit the changes. As far as Python is concerned, right? It's exactly like hitting that lightning bolt that we had in MySQL uh, GUI application that basically ran our uh, command. So that migration is going to result into this because you have to keep in mind that at the end of the day, this database, this RDBMS, the SQLite, it doesn't understand Python. It understands only SQL. So even though we have migrations in here that take care of this code for us, we need to convert them into pure SQL before we can commit them to our database. And this command, python manage.py sql migrate, this is going to, uh, where is it? SQL uh, migrate meetings 001. This is going to show us the equivalent in the SQL world for this, for this part that I've highlighted for this part. This is the equivalent in SQL. So now if we, uh, now that we have made the migrations. Now we need to execute our migrations as well. Now we have made the migrations. Here are the migrations. We need to execute this SQL command. How can we execute that SQL command? This that I've highlighted through migrations is we have already done this. So I'm going to say Python manage.py migrate. Now this command is going to execute the SQL query against the database. So if I run it and it says apply all migrations, applying only this migration because the other migrations, these, we have already applied those. So the only migration we needed to apply was a, a, a one underscore initial is OK. So now if I come into my DB, if I open up the SQLite uh, database, in here, we can see that we have a meeting. There we go. So if I open this up, we should see two columns and we should see the data types for those. In my opinion, this is very, very cool. I mean, we should see it. Technically, we should see three columns because one is the primary key. Then we have a title, which, which is variable character title. And then we have a date, which is date. Uh, and all three of them are not null. The first one is the primary key. We can browse this table as well. And there we go. So we got ID, title, and date. And um, this is this is, in my opinion, very, very cool that how uh, you can interact uh, through your pure Python class. So to be able, to, to interact with a database, you don't have to have any knowledge of the database. That is not a requirement. You just write a pure Python class, then you run the migrations. When you run the migrations, you're going to end up with the script. 
you have to make those migrations. Then you're going to end up with the script. When you made that script, you need to migrate that. Basically execute that script. When you execute it, you're going to end up with this table, meetings. So the first word that says meetings is the name of the app. Meeting is the name of the table. That is basically the convention uh, here. We are going to uh, suffix, uh, prefix, sorry, prefix the name of the tables with the name of the applications. So group is a table, auth is an application, an app, a Django app. So these are all, this is Django app, admin is the table, content type is the table, migration is the table, session is the table, and meeting is the table. So we have done quite a lot of cool stuff so far. And I would like to say that um, I, I do want you to really work through these because this is all real world stuff that we are actually implementing here. So it's not like all theory. We talk about theory for like five minutes and then we implement all the real world stuff in like 500 minutes. And uh, this is everything that you're going to do whenever you go to any production uh, environment, for example, to any company. Of course, it's going to be like tens of tens of times bigger and more complicated than this. But these, they lay the foundation for all of the work that are done in companies as far as Django is concerned. So understanding these is going to help you to become a job ready developer. So you know how you can create a Python application. We have created that. You know how you can connect it to a database, how you can apply migrations, and how those migrations are going to be converted into SQL. Uh, there we go. The part that I'm trying to highlight right now, I've highlighted. And then how you can uh, basically execute those migrations. So you end up with a real-world database that users can use and users can enter data. Now, by the end of this section, you're going to end up with a much cooler application than the one than the one you just started with. Now, you can see that we are slowly and slowly creating this application. All the pieces are coming together. The database is there. We are going to take, uh, talk about the admin as well in our, uh, of course, in our next lecture very uh, cool we're going to talk about the admin inter interface how we can work with that and why is that useful so we, there is still a ton of stuff coming up in this section and really really awesome stuff so that's it for this lecture see you in the next one